New Zealand Fresh Cuts continuously crops its land and as a result has to take the very best care of it. Chris Butler is the farm's operations manager. His focus is on maintaining the sustainability of the soil. Rangarari we have about 450 acres and it's basically most of our winter mesclun production and we also do baby carrots and lettuce production. We're generally harvesting about 20 tonne, 25 tonne a week of mescaline and it's about 5,000 kilos a hectare is our yield. Um, which in terms of a bag of salad, it's about 150,000 bags a week. A rotation is a difficult question because of the different areas we do of the varying crops. So for instance, mescaline or mazuna will do close to 200 hectares a year of that and carrots we do about 25 hectares. But generally there is, we try to keep a bit of a crop rotation going through. During summer we'll put in either squash or maize as a rotation from our mescaline crops. The soil top here, it's a pumice, it's sandy pumice, and so hence it's very free draining, but very susceptible to compaction. We find it's excellent to be able to get crops in the ground over winter. Whereas our clay soils at Mangaree, when it rains, it gets awfully wet and you can't get on there for weeks. So whereas this, generally we can go out seeding every day of the year. Growing period for Mazuna or the mescaline is about 14 days during summer and 66 during winter. Initially when we set up the farming operation three years ago, it was set up with the mind of moving to GPS and controlled traffic and every piece of equipment we've brought has been brought in mind for that move. So we are lucky that we haven't had to try and mix and match equipment to fit the system. It was designed right from the beginning. So the number of passes we've gone from about 10 to 3. We used to have six small tractors doing about 1,800, 2,000 hours a year each. We've now just got this big one, which I'm not sure how many hours it's doing, but generally we're down to now about one hour per hectare for our ground, total groundwork, whereas we were three to four. Our fuel savings have come, we're looking about 58% fuel saving alone. If we've had maize in it over summer or squash, we generally plough if we have to, to incorporate the stubble. And then from every pass then on, it's on GPS. After ploughing it may get disked. We use a six metre set of discs for that and then we'll ridge it and then bed form it. From then it'll be seeded, harvested, we'll mulch to incorporate that all on two metre beds and reshape with the ridger and then re-bed form again. So it's a pretty short rotation on equipment wise. And with the GPS it's meant we haven't had, we used to do a lot of subsoiling and we end up putting a lot of iron back in the ground from cultivation tips. It's very abrasive. We're generally just using GPS for doing the primary groundwork. At this stage, we haven't got it on the seeding tractor, but when we do, it gives us a lot more traceability for our crops, so you can guarantee when you go out and spray fertiliser that you're putting on bed number one or bed number 10, and for our traceability, it makes a huge difference. One of the biggest pluses from the system, apart from straight lines. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.